my channel so I am literally got no idea so if it goes completely wrong I am so sorry but I'll probably still publish it anyway because you know it's a journey and I'm self-taught so I want you to see my mistakes and my the opposite to mistakes whatever that word is my successes and yeah so let's see how this goes I never have any plans anyway but I actually have no idea what I'm doing for this tutorial so I wonder how that goes so I'm doing Christmas theme and if you saw the film The Grinch then you'll see where I'm coming from hopefully I'm going to try and do something where it's Miss Grinch because I don't want to do the really ugly boy Grinch so I'm going to do an ugly girl Grinch instead let's get started so this is the look I'm going to be showing you how to do today and this is the Grinch as you can see well Miss Grinch I didn't want to do Mr Grinch because I'm a girl and I'm sorry I'm talking like I've got a cold or my nose is blocked but it's not blocked well I haven't blocked it with this nose piece thing you can see here I, it's actually really hard to talk when it's hard so sorry for that so it's a good job this video is not using my voice ever because I'm using lashes which I got over on eBay then because I have eczema on my nose area I'm going to try and limit the amount of latex which I'm putting there by putting a bag over my nose and then latexing it around the edges with this latex and here it is <sighs> then I'm using cotton wool from this pleated cotton wool pack and I am pulling out the edges so it's thinner and I can help it to blend into my skin easier. And then I'm covering my nose in latex. And then I'm going to stick the cotton wool over the latex and blend it in around the edges. I don't particularly like the feel of cotton wool going over my nose holes. It's kind of unlocked a new phobia for me, so sorry for freaking out a little bit. I'm doing is I'm putting liquid latex all around the edges of the cotton wool and then I'm going to start pulling that down with my fingers and the brush but you've got to be careful not to squash the bit on your nose down too much as we're going to build that up into almost a ski slope sort of thing like what the Grinch has. sure that the end of the nose is pointing quite far up like the Grinch's does so to do that we take the brush from about halfway down the nose and pull it up towards the point and you build that up and then go down the center of the nose and then pull it down a bit and you keep doing that until you've got the point about where you want it so I've got the point 
about right now. So now we're going to start building up the bits above the lip and under the nose. So I'm taking more cotton wool and folding that in half and placing that under the tip of my nose. And then I'm going to start blending that outwards, inwards, upwards, into the point and not going over my top lip, but latexing that to it. that the Grinch nose is starting to take form. Oh, dear. Once again, we have to make sure that this is blended in. So we're taking the brush from the lip and pulling that up towards the point of the nose without applying too much pressure. Then to start making the nose piece smoother, we're going to take a sheet of single ply toilet roll and press that over the nose without squashing the shape that we've already created and then we're going to rip off any excess that we don't need and then apply latex over the top of that once again making sure to thoroughly blend in the edges and then we'll go on to building it up a little bit more once again I'm taking single ply toilet roll and I'm folding that up and I'm going to place that just under the point of my nose so we can blend in the slope into the point of the nose and then apply latex over the top of that and then we're going to do that again and then blend it in once again and slowly we're getting the shape that the Grinch has for his nose I just keep checking sideways to make sure it's going up in the shape I want it to go and then applying more tissue roll depending on how it's looking and then to smooth it out once again I'm applying a bigger piece of toilet roll over the point of my nose and over the bits that we've just put on. At this point I think my nose is still a slightly bit too narrow so I'm taking more cotton wool and applying that to the sides of my nose and I'm building that up into the arch of my nose and blending it into my cheeks and all the rest of the areas that we've already created. Now obviously we need to create the actual nose for the Grinch's nose so I'm boiling up a small piece of cotton wool and I'm going to stick that right on the point of the nose piece we've created and then I'm going to cover it in latex And then to create the nose holes, I'm going to take a smaller paintbrush, the opposite end of one, and I'm going to stick it in one side of the cotton wool ball and then the other and slightly apply a little bit of pressure so that it does mould around the brush. So this is the nose so far. Now we need to create the indentation marks on the snout area. Here I'm just marking out where I want the wrinkles to go on the side of my face and up towards the top of my nose. This makes it easier to apply the actual toilet roll when it comes to doing the wrinkles. Now my camera and its really annoying ways chose not to actually record me making the wrinkles but all I did was got a single ply toilet paper, I ripped it in half and then folded it in half and half again and then I just latex that along the areas which I've just drawn out for the wrinkles. This step isn't necessary I don't think but basically I'm just taking a foundation and I'm applying that all over the prosthetic which we just created and the skin around it to help it blend in and neutralise it a little bit. Now what I'm doing is the indentations. I'm using a sharp bakery tool. This is like the equivalent to a latex tool and I am drawing the line from the nose down to the centre of my lip 
and then the dots on either side of it for where the whiskers would be. Now I'm taking a green face paint and I'm covering my whole face with this and I'm making sure that I get that in all the little gaps but leaving out my little nose blob bit on the top I don't even know what that bit's called and there's the whole face then I'm using an eyeshadow which is roughly the same colour as my face paint and I'm just using that to help set the paint on my face I'm not applying too much I'm just applying enough then I'm taking a black face paint and I'm going to paint that little black blob for the nose then I'm taking an eyeshadow which is a mix of a really light yellow and a really light green and I'm applying that as a highlight so under the arches of my eyebrows on the top of my nose, a little bit in between my eyebrows on my forehead and then on my cheekbones. Oh, yeah. Then I'm taking a dark green and I'm going to do my contour with this. So I'm doing that on the creases of my eyelids. And I am applying it quite heavily on the creases and then blending it outwards. Then I'm also applying it just under the wrinkles to make them look deeper. Then around the, my temples, on the outsides of my nose, and then under my cheekbones, I'm blending that into my jaw. And going down my jaw and into my neck. As you can see, the face is starting to look really 3D now, and the prosthetic is blending into the face seamlessly. Now I'm using a yellow eyeshadow and I'm going to use that for a little bit more of the highlights in roughly the same areas but then along the top of the wrinkles as well under the lip and then on the collarbones. Then since it's nearly Christmas you might decide you want to wear some pretty makeup. This is probably not the right thing to use to put makeup on your face because I don't know I'm just using it because it says it's washable so don't get in your eyes. Stop going sticky. We really need something else. I don't recommend using the glue stick to be honest. Um, just because I don't know if there's any um, health things. Out. I don't know how the man on the bridge fell actually managed to talk. Because it's actually really hard. Yeah, they're getting sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky. But then what I gotta do is. Oh, 
this is probably not going how I planned. use red face paint instead because I can't find any lipstick. You do know you're on my camera without your top on. Yes you are. Santa Grinch can't be beautiful. <laughs> should not wear lipstick. Basically, <laughs> I 
take the smell of later. It's one of the most cool <laughs> that hurt. I'm so glad that I put a bag under my nose because that would have been Oh my god. I have a really good idea for this. There's the prosthetic. Prosthetic. And then to get the rest off. going to use this again which is the makeup eraser I do have a video for that previously on my channel so I'll put that in the description or here if I manage to do that and <clears throat> so this does get it off really well apart from where the latex is left on my face that has to be removed not with water water ain't gotta get that off I just think this product is pretty cool. Yeah. I'm hoping that the glue stick also comes off with this because I have saw other YouTubers use glue sticks to glue their eyebrows down. So I'm blaming you lot, you other makeup artists, if I can't get my eyes off. It's just like, because mm. it hurts more if I pull it. So if I just roll it down, mm. so pretty. You can actually like make this a look kind of joking, by the way. Yes, it is coming off with this after all. So, as you can see there, it is coming off with this. Just a little bit of rubbing, but it doesn't make my skin sore whatsoever, this thing. It's just so soft and it's. Other than this green mark here, as you can see, it has been in the wash and there's no leftovers of all the brown stuff that was on here from the last video I did, which was the makeup eraser video. Mm. Bam bam! to take this all off at the moment um, but as you can see it is coming off and it's coming off really really easily so easily literally this is like a weapon because if there was someone you didn't like and it was like had all this makeup on you could just run up to them and be like I ripped off your makeup you is now ugly I ripped off you could just be like and they'd be like Where's your makeup gone? It's gone, it's gone poof! Mm. Needs more warm water. 
is cold and cold doesn't work as well but as you can see it works so thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time please hit the like button if you like this uh, this is just a random video anyway but I thought some people might be interested in how to get these prosthetics off so there's the video for you and the paint is off another video with this so see ya the who's they get on our nerves because we all like Christmas me and Mr. Grinch we like to just sit on the hill in a cave Thanks for watching this video and if you like it please do give it a thumbs up and Merry Christmas to all of you. Thanks for watching. <laughs>